Becca, and we'll have to beware that rain that's coming through Monday. Now, we're going to be talking about peripheral arterial disease. This is disease of the arteries. The arteries come out of the heart and they supply all the body with nourishment. The lower extremities, the calf, the, the legs, the toes, the feet, they all need a blood supply. And if they don't get a good su blood supply, we call it peripheral arterial disease. The symptoms are tired legs or cramping when we walk that's relieved by rest. And so those are the key things. Some people will have peripheral arterial disease and they don't really know it. Eight and a half million people in the United States have peripheral arterial disease. So the diagnosis is usually made by somebody having symptoms of tired legs, weak legs, pain when they exercise, and the diagnosis is made by ultrasound, special x-rays, and it can tell us if the blood vessels are supplying adequate blood to the extremities. If they're not, it's probably because somebody has hardening of the arteries, elevated cholesterol, hypertension, some abnormality in the vascular system. So the things that we can do is be sure that we exercise on a regular basis. Now, exercise can cause the leg cramps. So we have to be guided by our doctor how much x-ray we can, the medicines to lower our cholesterol, to control our high blood pressure. So it's something that more people have than we think, and you need to be sure that we pay extra attention to it because if there's hardening of the arteries anywhere in the body, you can surely bet that it's going on in the lower extremities also. And you wanna be able to be able to walk and have a good time uh, uh, with your lower extremities. So if you're having those problems, see your doctor, talk about it, he'll get the test, and he'll guide you to where uh, you can get away from that. And our questions from the viewer, Dr. Bob, what happens if I don't ca take care of my diabetes? An excellent question. And diabetes is when the blood sugar is too high. And some people say, well, my blood sugar is a little high, but I'm not really gonna worry about it. <clears throat> Wrong thing to do. The diabetes bothers the blood vessels that supply nourishment, and it's really the small blood vessels, the blood vessels that supply the eye so we can get actual blindness because of not controlling our blood sugar. We get high blood pressure, we get hardening of the arteries around the heart. So diabetes is something that we really need to pay attention to. You may have sores, cuts that don't heal well. All of these are signs that you may have diabetes. If that blood sugar is high, it goes out through the kidneys, it pulls water with it, we get dehydrated, uh, we drink a lot of water, and um, we still become dehydrated. The treatment is like for everything else. It's exercise, it's getting proper nutrition, and it's getting adequate sleep. All of those things will be guided to get your blood sugar back to normal, and we can actually get that diabetes where it goes away if we catch it early. So we need to pay attention to our health, have a good time, stay healthy, and enjoy ourselves. And Leslie, that's what peripheral arterial disease is. Uh, let's have a great Sunday.